Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita and if you're not, hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I am doing a BoxyCharm unboxing. Now as you can see, my face is ready and prepped. <laughs> and my background is bien, está, está le corriendo la plancha, como dice mi mamá. But, not the case. We, I have a background. That's all that matters, okay? Maybe it'll be professional one day. But not today. So I received my boxy charm right here. So let's open her up here. So, instead of <laughs> but right here I have the Lexi G G G. I don't know. And then I have this Ella Super Veggie Vital Veggie Mask. Right here, I have ooh, the Butter London eyeshadow palette. I actually don't have anything from Butter London, so that's really cool. And ooh, I have another long lasting liquid lipstick, Ofra. And this might be in the shade Satorian I don't know, question mark. Mm. And then here is a gel liner. Ooh, and this is from Appeal. Right here is the Elmas Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Retail prices. $35. And yes, we love sealed things. And I'm putting it on the back of my hair. Oh, snap. I actually thought that this was going to be green. Kind of thought that there would have been like broccoli and kind of like carrots. Like you put it in, there's like specks. I don't know. Well, it kind of looks green. It's like, I don't know. Oh, this thing's like thick. Yes. Oh, this smells good. Yes. So the next thing is, is the Butter London Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $32. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This is what it looks like. So yeah, right here we have six beautiful shades. And right here we have Femme Fetal. And then we have Temptress right here, which is that brown. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch. Oops. So those are the two shades right there. Those are actually the only two matte shades in here. Hmm. The next one right here is Diva. And then next to Diva is Star. So we have like a brown or like a taupe maybe and a green. That's what it looks like. Go ahead and put it underneath here. Oh, wow. Those shades are actually really pretty. The next shade is Queen, and then we have Entran Enchantress right here. And that is what they look like. That's actually really pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. Those are pretty. So the next thing on here is the Luxie Gia Gaia three-piece brush set. It's the, This is what the brushes look like. Um, the foundation brush, will I use it? Probably, um, but not for foundation. It's probably going to be more for my SFX. So right here is a crease brush. This is actually really nice because I can pack on the shade. And then this right here is like a blending brush. So that's actually pretty nice and I do like it. So I can't wait to use them. The next thing on here is the Ofra liquid lipstick. The retail price is $20. But I'm going to go ahead and just swatch it. Ooh, okay, so this one I can see is like sheer. It says that it's a liquid lipstick. I've, I mean, I have seen sheer liquid lipsticks, but I don't know. We're going to have to see how this one's going to be. I really like the packaging on this because it's like white. Like, that's just so pretty. And the last product here is the Peel Gel Liner. The retail price is $21. So this is from Appeal Cosmetics. It is in deep taupe. And it says that you can use that as a lip liner or a eyeliner, which that's pretty cool. Ooh, it looks so creamy. <gasps> wow. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here. <gasps> so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids off camera and up that. So, um, really, since there's no um, light transition shade, I'm just going to go into Temptress right here. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and just pat it right here. Oh, okay. It's not as dark as I expected, but since I didn't really pick up a lot, I just picked up a little bit. Oh, that was a lot right there. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not really big on brown eyeshadows, but it's okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this blending brush from BoxyCharm. The Luxie blending brush. 
So I'm going to take this Morphe White Concealer, and I like to use this concealer when I'm doing any type of eyeshadow just so I can get like the pigment to pop out a lot. So I'm just going to take this brush right here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut out my crease. Okay, so the cut crease, or the crease has been cut. And I'm going to go ahead and take this crease brush right here. I'm going to take Queen first. And I'm going to go ahead and pat this right here in the beginning of the crease. The cut crease right here. Right here. So a crease brush can be, like, you can use it for different things. Like, you can use it for, like, what I'm doing, I'm packing on some eyeshadow or you can cut the crease like I can definitely use this to cut the crease okay and then the next shade I'm gonna go in and use diva right here and I'm just gonna apply it right next to it and blend it out with each other because I want there to be that seamless um what's it called blend that took me forever to say and think of and then go back in with queen and just kind of put it on top of diva and then same, with the same brush that I used earlier, I'm going to grab a bit of Temptress. And I'm going to go ahead and pack it on the corner right here where I cut the crease. Just so I have like that seamless blend. This is a step I've always done, which I'll grab Temptress right here. And I'm going to go ahead and like outline where I cut the crease. Just so I can make it look sharp. I'm going to take the blue shade right here, which is called Femme Fatal, Femme Fatal, and I'm just going to blend it on the bottom of my lower lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Star right here, and you guys are like, where are you going to put that color? I'm actually going to put it in my inner corner, but wait. So boom, Star is going to go in the inner corner. It's actually really cute. Color combo all the way. And then I'm going to grab Enchantress right here, and I'm just going to put it on top of Star. Just so I can get, like, look at that. Look at that inner corner. Yes. Wow, I used all six in here. That's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera, and I'll be back with maybe some eyeliner and some mascara, and I'll be back. So I'm back. I applied some eyeliner, mascara, and lashes. Um, The eyeliner I'm using is the Benefit Cosmetic roller liner and in brown like i wanted to do black but at the same time i was like well it's a brown look i think it would actually look better if it was with brown liner and honestly i really agree because like maybe black would have been like pfft, too bold i don't know maybe but literally i'm pretty much done with the eyes but i have this gel eyeliner from appeal cosmetics and well i think it's just called appeal not appeal cosmetics so just appeal so i'm gonna apply this in the lower lash line or in the waterline. Ooh, this is actually really pretty. This is like a really neutral eye look with like a pop of like blue. This is probably like the most neutral eye look I've ever done. Like, mmm. It's so weird for me to have like a brown eyeshadow look. So since it does say that it's a lip liner, I kind of want to try it out and see. Ooh. Oh, this is a dark lip liner. Chola lips are lined. <laughs> oui, que fait. <laughs> so I have three lip glosses here. These are from the ColourPop Super Villains. And um, I don't know which one is going to look good. So I don't know. Let's try the Bad Apple one. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this lip gloss. Let's go ahead and try this one. This is called My Pet. Yeah, I think this one looks good. Like this, like both of those colors. 